Hello everyone! This is Running On Empty Food Review! Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome, one and all, to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the report of the week. Thank you for checking in. So, Taco Bell, back at it again with another new release. And this one, I, I was thinking to myself initially that they already do something like this. And then I realized, no, they didn't. A couple years back, I think this is 2019, there was a partnership between Pizza Hut and Cheese It, uh, where they released this giant Cheese It. And that's why there was this air of familiarity, because now, in 2024, Taco Bell is pairing up with Cheese It for the release of their big Cheese It Crunch Wrap Supreme. So, this is coming out, it's already available to Taco Bell members and rewards members, uh, but it will be available to the general public tomorrow, June 6th, so then everyone can go out and get it. And essentially what this is, is that it's a Crunch Wrap Supreme, but it is incorporating the element, of course for a limited time, of the big cheese it And the tostada shell uh, that is normally inside the crunch wrap is being swapped for a giant cheese it cracker. And that's supposed to be, you know, a novelty item, but perhaps a pleasant one at that. And uh, these sorts of partnerships, they always get people talking. And uh, I've already gotten a lot of requests to try this one out, so that's precisely what I'm doing today. So, the big cheese it Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell. I'm just getting the focus adjusted. Here's what it comes on, or here's what it comes with. Seasoned beef, nacho cheese, lettuce, sour cream, tomatoes, and then it has that giant Cheez-It cracker in the middle of it, which you'll be able to see once I begin consuming it. The Cheez-It cracker is about 16 times larger than a normal Cheez-It, uh, hence the name the Big Cheez-It Crunchwrap Supreme, and it is available at the price of $6 for the Crunchwrap itself. Uh, they say, well, go go out and find the Big Cheez-It anywhere else, let alone in a Crunchwrap. So they'll say it's a novelty item, it's a limited release, hence the uh, slight markup as far as the price is concerned. So I got it right here. Advertising the cantina menu on the bag still. And I will admit, because I took a quick peek in some napkins, I was a tiny bit disappointed and, you know, it's just branding. It is what it is in the end. But I, I will admit, I was a tiny bit disappointed when I saw that it didn't come in any special packaging in my case. It's supposed to come in a special uh, promotional box that's supposed to, I don't know, have a special little logo and design on it. And again, you know, I have to realistically think, am I really going to sit here and get all riled up because it doesn't come in some cardboard box with a picture of a cheese it on it. But uh, nonetheless, you know, obviously for the sake of the review, do I wish that it would have come in the special branding? Of course, to be honest, but um, in my case, they just threw it in this little, a little bag like that. It's supposed to come in the special packaging, though, but it didn't, so... I would wager your mileage may vary. It's, again, supposed to come in a little box. And taking it out... That's what it looks like. It does have the little bake on it, although it is a little more floppy as far as a... crunch wrap is concerned. I decided to also go ahead and get this with some fire sauce. I'll take a quick thumbnail of this too. And while I did that, you could observe it in all its glory right there. So now what I shall do, obviously I'm curious about the cheese it aspect, 
I'm gonna try it out. Let's just delve into it, see how good or bad it is, and uh, take it from there. So again, price for this is around six dollars. The big appeal is the cheese. It. Let's see what it tastes like, and let's see uh, how discernible that flavor is. So, the big cheese it crunch wrap supreme from Taco Bell. It's going in. Did you know that these used to have legs? It's true. They used to move about in a manner akin to like a horseshoe crab. It would be on the bottom of the ocean on the sea floor. But now they drop the legs and they just have the shells. But that's where it comes from. Just so you could see what the interior looks like. If I were to say, based on visual confirmation, does that look like the ad? Can you confirm, based solely on visual, that the cheese it cracker is actually there? I think you would be very hard pressed to actually be able to say that it is there. Now, when you look at the ad, and granted, this is the way that it usually goes, when you look at the ad, and you could see, all right, there's the expectations versus reality, right? They will make it overwhelmingly apparent that the cheese it cracker is there. They make it look firm, they make it look very visible, very evident, and um, you could definitely see that it's there. You absolutely can, without a shadow of a doubt. I'm gonna pause the camera because I actually have delivery coming. I just got a notification, so pardon me for about 15, 20 seconds. All right, thank you for bearing with me. It was just, there was a package coming and I wanted to make sure I got it, so anyway. What I was just trying to get at is obviously you see it portrayed a certain way in the ads, and then when you actually see it in reality, I think by the way that it solely looks, you would think to yourself, there's no, there's no cheese it there. Because a lot of the big appeal to this, of course, is yeah, the flavor, but also the visual aspect. Uh, that they make you think that there's going to be this firm cheese it cracker in there that you take a bite and you're going to be able to clearly distinguish and uh, notice and then, you know, I don't know, I guess take a, do whatever you want with it, but that's supposed to be the appeal, both the flavor, but the visual aspect as well, along with the branding. And in this case, both the branding is completely gone, Now that's maybe unique to my circumstance, I will concede that, but the visual aspect of the cheese it cracker as well is obviously gone as well. You couldn't even tell that there's one here. And I will admit, when I first took a bite and I sort of looked in, even when I felt how floppy that it sort of was, I was slightly concerned. I thought, because this is Taco Bell after all, maybe I got the wrong item. I will say though, and even looking at it still, it's almost impossible to be able to even spot where the cracker is. It has completely 
absorbed the moisture and has turned into a paste of sorts. There is no solid cracker in this at all. It's just a pasty, um, very moisture ridden, for lack of a better word, a cheese at a layer that again is more like a like a paste as opposed to an actual cracker. Now maybe that's just my circumstance, but that's where things stand. And I could only identify the fact that I even got the right item based on the taste alone, and not by any visual confirmation, because it doesn't look like anything resembled in the ad. Now this this isn't the first time this has happened. This has happened many times with Taco Bell, where items will be presented uh, with the illusion that there is a certain firmness or um, solidity therein, which isn't actually the case. Uh, items, for instance, where the nacho fries are incorporated, but the nacho fries always absorb the cheese and the sauce and just the general moisture and become much more soggy than they are implied to be. This is no different than that. Now, as far as the flavor is concerned, I will say, despite the lack of the visual aspect of the cheese at Cracker, you sure can taste it. And that's the one thing, you really notice it. Uh, obviously it has that sort of cheddar flavor to it, and that is strong. I mean, that is overwhelming. It, it overpowers, yeah, you could taste the nacho cheese, but that flavor from the cheese at Cracker is very, very potent, uh, and it is very strong. To the point, not where it's unpleasant, but I was even thinking to myself, wow, this is, this is cheesy. I mean, you could really taste it because, again, you have both the flavor from the cheese it as well as the nacho cheese simultaneously coming together inside this crunch wrap. So you can't really see it, but you sure can taste it. And this is an item that I would say otherwise is pretty standard for the most part. The crunch wraps are an item from Taco Bell that, honestly, I've had plenty of decent experiences with, and uh, there is a good amount of beef in it, I'm sure, as you could see. There was the lettuce and tomato, which were uh, slightly lower quality, again, Taco Bell quality, essentially. Not the freshest and not the highest quality in the world. I suppose acceptable, all things considered, but a good amount of the beef, the seasoned beef, which is flavorful enough. Um, obviously a very, very moist crunch wrap in this regard, but there still is that little bit of a crunch from the uh, exterior shell, which does have a little bit of a bake to it. But again, this is really cheesy, and those of you that want something with lots of cheese, uh, then you're really going to notice this. And likewise, you have the, um, I just want to make sure I kind of like to run through all the ingredients here. Yeah, the sour cream, that's the one thing that I, I thought, did I cover that or did I not? And I, I realized I didn't. The sour cream is still there, but I would even say that the cheesiness essentially overpowers what flavors the sour cream itself would contribute. So that sharpness that you would usually expect from it uh, is not as evident as normal. And this is, again, much more on the cheesy side. And I would say that, yeah, this is a novelty item, uh, I think they dropped the ball as far as the visual aspect goes, but again, I could only speak for myself. Uh, it's just a shame that, number one, there isn't any branding, but number two, of course, that you can't even visually see the cheese at Cracker that's, um, that's in here. And once again, to show you where, essentially, uh, it is, it would be right there on the bottom that sort of orange, little orange layer at the very bottom there, that is the, uh, the cheese it itself. And it's just like a paste. You can't even really identify it. So, for those of you that like all things cheese, especially from Taco Bell, then this might be the item for you. Uh, again, it's a novelty, but you do get that very strong cheddar flavor as well as the uh, nacho cheese, so... For those of you that really like the cheese, and this is this is the item for you, I would say, and I think you would find it enjoyable. Um, but again, I do have a few grievances that are mostly from the aesthetic point of view.
But all things considered, I think it tastes, it tastes alright for what it is. Uh, not the best, but not the worst item. Very heavy on the cheese. And uh, for those of you that like that, then I think you would find this to be enjoyable. I'm gonna try it real fast with the fire sauce, see if that contributes anything. The fire sauce always pairs nicely with the crunch wraps, and usually if I'm ever to get a crunch wrap, I usually will get it with fire sauce. Uh, I just find that the spice of the fire sauce, again, complements the ingredients nicely, and I do think that it, it, it complements this as well, and it pairs nicely with the cheesiness. So personally, I would say if you want to get this, probably get some fire sauce on the side as well. Uh, there's not going to be any additional charge for it. And I do think that the fire sauce pairs nicely with this. It doesn't detract from it in any way. And I think it actually adds to it uh, to an extent. So my recommendation would be if you want to get this, get it with the fire sauce. You can control the amount of the fire sauce that you want on it. But I think it pairs nicely, all things considered. So, yeah, I'm slightly disappointed in some ways. But at the end of the day, at least the ingredient is there. You can most definitely taste it. And uh, so for those of you more visually oriented, you might be a little let down that it doesn't look like the ad and um, that it's lacking in that regard. But for those of you that are getting this for the taste, uh, you really can notice that cheese it. And like I said, really cheesy item. So uh, if that's your focus, I think you'll enjoy it. But all things considered, I think it's all right for, for what it is. Again, not the best, not the worst. So therefore, out of 10, price for this, $6, uh, limited time. Therefore, out of 10... I'm going to give the big Cheez-It Crunchwrap Supreme, I'm going to give it a 6.7 out of 10. Again, around the average mark, I would say. Maybe slightly, yeah, it's around the average. You could taste it at least. I think it's okay for what it is. It's one of those items where it's like, eh, it'll be here for a couple weeks, and then they'll take it away. So yeah, if you like Taco Bell, may as well just go and, go and get it one time. Just to say you got it, just to try it out, see if you like it or not, and and then that'll be that. Not one of those items where it's like, this is amazing, and I'm going to really go out of my way to really make the most of it while it's while it's still here. But all things considered, it's good enough for what it is. And that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.